Eamon, on the, uh, the domestic violence issue, you, you spoke about the things as a political, a former political advisor that gave you nightmares. Well, one of the things, you look at the, the PM going to that rally and, and he gets credit from many for just showing up, but when you go into a circumstance like that, you just don't know uh, how it's going to play out. There's all sorts of variables. And we saw some of those risks at play when it came to the accusations that he was a liar by one of the organisers. Yeah, and that's unfortunate. But you know what? The point is he did show up, Kieran. He did show up. He has got something to say. Uh, and it's on behalf of the nation. And, you know, surely we want a prime minister who is in touch with the way people are feeling and who is prepared to actually take some action. And can I just say, this is not before time. Not before time. You know, this is this is just gone... Uh, you know, unlooked at properly, despite all the record investment for a long, long time. So, you know, to have 28 women dying uh, in these circumstances this year alone is shocking. When you consider that the New South Wales government marshaled the resources of their entire machinery to shut down the nighttime economy because five young men died through alcohol-related violence over three years, and they shut down an entire section of the economy in Australia's leading international city, how is it that nothing has been done to that extent and to that level of coordination and that deep dive in terms of this? So, you know, the work we've seen today, yeah, not before time. And there needs to be a lot more. There does indeed. And David Gazard, we saw uh, Annalise Nielsen's report on Meta. That social media question about news, about social licence, it all extends to this sort of stuff as well, where there needs to be a greater... Uh, a barrier between younger people and some of the appalling material that they can see, sometimes without even looking for anything like it. It just would pop up on screens. I think um, governments everywhere uh, are struggling with the way to, to regulate um, some of the larger which are global digital platforms, Facebook, um, uh, X and so on and so forth, TikTok. Um, the, the, the only thing I've really seen work because efforts to pull down material are, are failing and the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the platforms themselves are thumbing their nose at, at individual jurisdictions' regulatory attempts. The only way I've seen, um, and I'd encourage this government to, to take up this, yeah. when, when the previous government uh, had Matthias Cormann uh, elected to the OECD uh, position he's in at the moment... They, they really, one of the things that other Western democracies were really keen on learning was how the Australian government had done the mandatory media code because they're all wrestling with the same questions themselves. And so you, you can see a, a global unity is going to have to has, have to be formed here where, where there are, uh, are laws and regulations and taxes yeah. applied to various platforms that mean they are brought to heel and, and, and it's done collectively rather than individually. It's a good point.